All right, guys, so I've got my little anger grinder here. Battery powered cobalt. I'm gonna try to hold this thing up in here so y'all can see. And uh, I think I'm gonna lop it off of here with this angle grinder. If I can get it on here without this thing jumping out of my hand and cutting something I don't want cut. I don't think that'll work. I'm gonna try to get close to that bolt, I mean that nut. Nipped off there pretty good. Got a little room now, so I can get you up on there. You can see the thing of focus. It's got a little rub on the bottom of that hose. All right, let's see if I can get the other one up in here. That wasn't too bad. Didn't throw as many sparks as I thought. I, I don't like those uh, what they call death wheels, guys. If you've never tried these these here, um, I think it says. A thousand cuts or two thousand cuts or whatever they have different brands of them uh, I've had those death wheels come apart and I just don't like that stuff that shrapnel coming at me so I I've, uh, I've have opted for these uh, they're a little more expensive but you don't have to worry about them coming apart so this is what I use now guys it may be something you may want to try if you have if you're scared of the death wheel these work they cut really good uh, you can tell when they start getting wore out, uh, but they you can do a lot of cutting, and you never have to worry about that thing breaking. And it's metal, so um, when they get wore out and you can't use them anymore, just uh, throw them in your scrap iron pile. They're uh, diamond. Pretty sure they're diamond. It's got a picture of a diamond. Let me see if I've got one of those blades over here. I know I've got some extra ones. There's all my windshield stacked up there. I have some extra blades here. Um, yeah. Hold on just a second, guys. I'm gonna let you down right here. All right, so here's the ones I get. Uh, and I've got, the other ones were Linux. This is a different brand. I think these are a little cheaper. Um, 3,000 plus cut life, many time longer wheel life. But like I say, the main thing is you don't have to worry about that thing coming apart. And um, I mean, you have to wear, it's best to wear a shield anyway. But um, man, I just like those a lot better. Like them a lot better. I get them off of Amazon. They're fairly cheap, you know, for what you do with them. You don't have to worry. The main thing is you don't have to worry about it coming apart while you're while you're holding on to the to the grinder all right let's see if i can get this one up in here this this angle grinder is a little big because it's got a big battery on the back of it i don't know if i can get this one up in the same spot so i may end up having to do one one way and one the other you see if i put it upside down then the blade ain't long enough yeah this one here i'm gonna opt for let's see passenger side uh, we ground it off, cut it off with the little angle grinder right here. And uh, the other one. Go right over here, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. Yeah, there's my bolt cutters. Like I said, I didn't have a set of bolt cutters yet. Uh, never really needed them. But uh, we were we, where we were. Um, kind of not stranded, but you know what I'm saying, in a bad bad place having issues uh, I opted for the best thing I could get these came from AutoZone their tags still on them hey I might could take them back and get my money back when I get through with using them I don't know I ain't gonna do that but they work good let's see if I can get you guys up here where you can see I don't know if I can get you in there and be able to see it my wife held it last time I doubt I can do this with one hand. Let's see here. Well, I definitely gonna I'm gonna definitely have to turn that wheel. Hold tight, guys. I keep saying guys, they might be ladies watching. I don't know. 
I'm just amazed that anybody even watches any of these videos of mine. Just hang on. Alright guys, I got the wheels turned. I got them turned on the, as far as I could to the left. Let's see if I can get this thing up in there now. I may be. I may be able to use my little grinder now that I got a little room. Make sure zip to it, zip through it pretty fast. Oh yeah. Yeah, we can do it with this. Now we got some clearance there. Yeah, you can see that one little clean spot on the bottom of that on the bottom of that hose there. It's getting a little shadow there. I can't. There you go. There's a little clean spot on the bottom of that hose where it's been rubbing. Not as bad as the suburban was. Uh, but yeah, guys, check that because look, if we would have been, um, we would have been. Let me turn this thing back around here. Sorry about that flipping flopping there. If we would have been going down the highway and all of a sudden didn't have no brakes out in the middle of nowhere, I, I would have been, I would have been upset and might could have got in an accident. I don't know. You know, you never know what's going to happen whenever you get in those situations. So uh, I am so thankful that uh, we found that out at the, pretty much at the campsite. Um, I needed to go get some needed to go get some uh, things for supper that evening and um, got in suburban took it down the road and noticed right off the bat that something wasn't right uh, it the, the Miata has really really good brakes because that's considered a sports car um, and that suburban's big and heavy so uh, when it didn't stop right off I was like ah, you know no big deal uh, but then it got to where Once I got down the road and it lost enough fluid uh, the check brake light came on and Then the um, It got to where even if I just had it in gear if I pulled up to a stop sign I would put it in neutral to get it stopped uh, Downshift and then once I got slow enough I'd put it in neutral put on brakes to get it stopped and when I put on brakes I mean, I put the, the, the transmission back in gear. Man, that thing started pushing me out in the middle of, of the road. So I'm so thankful that that happened where it happened, when it happened. Uh, it didn't happen on my wife as she was traveling there. Thank, thank the Lord for that. Uh, thankfully uh, that, that we wasn't out on the road um, on, a, you know, on a long trip or anything. Any, none of that stuff happened. And I was able to get the tools that I needed and uh, fix this. So this one again. Look, uh, I you know I never would have noticed that it was up there by it, but I never realized how much that thing flexes and how much it gets around. You know, depending on how you're driving. Um, but yeah, could have been bad. So guys, check those things just just to save yourself. Hey, you may not have a Chevrolet. You may not have that. Uh, that stud sticking up there like that and hey that's cool but uh as i've always heard and and try to live by better safe than sorry all right grace car driver out